Good day, everyone. On Holy Thursday, Jesus, as we know, instituted the Eucharist, and he also gave us the gift of the priesthood. He washes the feet of his apostles, offering a personal example of the fact that the Eucharist is love that becomes service. In giving himself to us as food, Jesus affirms that we need to share this nourishment with others so that it becomes a true communion of life with those in need. In short, he gives himself to us and asks us to abide in him and do the same for others. On Good Friday, in the culminating moment of love, Jesus on the cross abandons himself to the, his Father, offering salvation to the whole world. No one is excluded. This love is an inexhaustible source of salvation from which each one of us sinners can draw. If God has shown his supreme love in Jesus' death, then we can and must love one another as well. Holy Saturday, when Jesus is alone in the sepulcher, there is a silence that speaks and expresses love as solidarity with all those ever abandoned or alone. Our Blessed Mother is the icon for us on Holy Saturday. Mary, I believe, lived that Saturday in holy expectation. She did it with a love that did not doubt, but instead with a love that hoped in the Lord's word. It is that love which is fulfilled and, and is just so very splendid on Easter day. I pray that each of us will be enveloped by the loving mercy that God has for each of us so that amid the trials and challenges of the world, we can experience the blessings of true peace and joy. Have a blessed week.